The movie begins with the Denning sisters being driven home by their father in a blue car. At school, Megan recites a poem, and their teacher, Mr. Oster, asks the class to give feedback on her work. He also reminds them about the upcoming Aspiring Poet Contest, which will culminate in a final round in Florida in the spring. Megan listens carefully, as the prize is significant, making it worth the risk. As the students head out for recess, Oster stops Megan to praise her talent. He believes she has a lot of potential, but Megan isn't confident in her abilities. She shares her doubts with her friend Georgia, who is eager to enter the contest and encourages Megan to do the same. At home, the Denning sisters sit at the table. Lily wants to tell Megan something she read in a book, but Megan is focused on her homework and asks her little sister not to interrupt. Annoyed, Lily tears a page from Megan's notebook and runs to her room, irritating her sister even more. Their mother, Diana, returns from work and immediately senses tension between the girls. She tries to find out what the argument is about, but Megan doesn't want to discuss it. Diana scolds her for not looking after Lily properly, but Megan snaps bang that since Diana gave birth to her, she should be the one to take care of her. This angers Diana, who sends Megan out of the living room. Later, Megan notices that Lily has hurt her leg and helps her bandage the wound. In class, Mr. Oster hands back the students' papers, and Megan finds an entry form for the poetry contest attached to her essay. The teacher compliments her writing talent. After class, Megan misses the bus and decides to walk home. Mr. Oster sees her walking and offers her a ride. During the drive, they talk about Megan's education and her creative aspirations. She opens up about her relationship with her parents, and Oster encourages her to enter the contest, promising to help her prepare. Meanwhile, Lily is looking through old photos, and Megan asks her to put them back in the closet before their mother comes home. Megan remarks that Lily looks a lot like their father. At dinner, Megan stares at her reflection in a spoon, lost in thought, and doesn't touch her food. After dinner, Lily heads to bed. The next morning, Megan wakes up to the sound of her alarm clock and hurries Lily so they won't miss the bus. On the way to school, Georgia mentions that Mr. Oster was a close family friend and had even published a book which he always carries with him. She tries to persuade Megan to accept Oster's offer and join the poetry contest. After classes, Megan finds herself alone with Mr. Oster in his office. He offers her an orange and starts discussing famous poets. He encourages Megan to discover her own secret stream that will help her write poetry. They talk about a poem Megan wrote, which, according to her, describes the day her father left. Mr. Oster asks her to describe in detail what she did that day, but Megan seems unsure of how to respond. As an example, Oster shares a story about the day of his youngest son's funeral. On her way home, Megan and her friend read a poem written by one of Megan's admirers. At home, Megan imagines herself with perfect white teeth placing a piece of paper in her mouth and trying to smile. Her mother, Diana, is on the phone and asks Megan to get Lily to eat. Later, Diana calls again to let them know she'll be late coming home. When Diana finally arrives, she tries to talk to Megan, but Megan pretends to be asleep. During an extra class with Mr. Oster, he suggests discussing one of her poems. At dinner, Megan tells her mother about the poetry contest she's entering, but Diana is more focused on her new acquaintance, Dawn, and her upcoming job interview. After Dawn leaves, Megan helps her mother clear the table. Diana asks her to thank Dawn for helping her find a job and also requests Megan to show him the poem she plans to take to the contest. Megan hugs her mother, supporting her desire to find a good job. At the contest, Megan recites a poem about her father, which she calls Blue Car. Mr. Oster appreciates her work. After the contest, he talks to her about the importance of staying true to herself, regardless of the outcome. Megan believes she didn't make it through the contest and prepares to leave, but the teacher reminds her that they have a lot of studying to do before their trip to Florida. Later, Diana picks up her daughters after her job interview. On the way home, Lily asks her mother curious questions about the human body. Back home, Diana notices Megan is wearing her blouse and asks her not to take her clothes without permission. In the next scene, Mr. Pesbois, Oster is teaching a literature class outside in the garden. After the lesson, he invites Megan to have lunch with him, and they talk about the upcoming contest. 
Megan asks him to read a passage from his book, believing it might inspire her and give her the creative push she needs. Megan enjoys what Mr. Oster has written, but their conversation is interrupted by his son, Rob. At home, Megan notices her mother's bag on the table. Lily mentions they visited the doctor and met Don. Megan enters her mother's room and sees Diana asleep, showing signs of having had a rough night. Megan gently covers her with a blanket before returning to her sister, who is trying to cover her freckles with foundation. Lily insists that she doesn't want to look like anyone else. The Denning family attends Sunday service, where Lily tells the priest she's an angel before fainting in the church. She is taken to the hospital. Megan calls Mr. Oster to discuss the Florida trip, and during the conversation, she confides that her sister is unwell. Oster comforts her and drives her home. When Megan returns, Diana senses that her daughter is keeping secrets and confronts her, forbidding her from going anywhere without her knowledge. This puts Megan's participation in the contest at risk. The next day, Megan tries to withdraw money from her account, but realizes she needs her mother's signature. At school, Mr. Oster leaves a little tin foil car on Megan's backpack to cheer her up. Georgia suggests that they go to Florida together. At home, Megan tries to convince her mother to let her and Lily travel to Florida, but the conversation is interrupted by a phone call. Later, Megan visits Lily in the hospital, where her sister insists she is an angel. On the way home, Diana reveals that Lily has asked to be moved to the psychiatric ward. Desperate for money, Megan asks for an advance at work, then steals ties from the warehouse, hoping to return them at another store for extra cash. But her plan fails. One night, Megan is awakened by a phone call informing her that Lily has fallen out of a window. At the funeral, Diana argues with their father, and Megan, grieving, sifts through her sister's treasure box. After telling her mother she's heading to work, Megan drives to Mr. Oster's house and watches him play basketball with his sons from behind the trees. Her boss discovers the theft of the ties and fires her. Back at home, Diana searches Megan's room, suspicious of her actions. Though Megan tries to explain, her mother doesn't believe her. In frustration, Megan declares that she's leaving to live with her father. The two women argue, and when Megan tries to take Lily's belongings from the box Diana plans to put in the basement, her mother slaps her. Hurt and upset, Megan packs her things and leaves the house. At school, she confides in Mr. Oster about her problems, and he hugs her. Megan smells nice, and Mr. Oster discreetly sniffs her hair. Georgia arranges for Megan to stay with her family, and in the evening, Megan listens to a confession from Georgia's brother, Pat. He offers her a ride in exchange for a favor. Megan steals drugs from the pharmacy, which Pat sells, giving her a cut of the money. In literature class, Mr. Oster writes a quote on the board and asks students to submit their papers. Megan notices he seems tense. After class, when she tries to ask him about his mood, Oster beckons her closer and places a gold star on her forehead. At home, Megan thanks Pat for his help and gives him a tie. The next morning, as they prepare to leave for Florida, Megan wakes up to find her friend missing. She discovers that Pat ran away after robbing his family and taking her money. Desperate, Megan sneaks into Diana's house to find something valuable to pawn. She hands in her mother's diamond ring and some personal belongings at a pawn shop, but the money only covers a bus ticket at the bus stop, Megan eats some leftover fast food, and after arriving at the contest location, she spends the night on the beach. The next morning, she spots Mr. Oster with his family. They're enjoying the beach, and Oster invites her to join them. His wife, Delia, goes swimming with their son. Oster tells Megan he missed her at the opening ceremony. When Delia returns, she suggests that Rob escort Megan to the locker room. Megan examines herself in the mirror while Rob buys drinks. On the beach, Delia strikes up a conversation with Megan about her poetry, but when she corrects the girl, it annoys Oster, and he leaves to swim. Later, Oster offers to walk Megan to her hotel. Delia, visibly upset, tells Megan good luck before leaving for home. While walking, Oster talks about his wife. Noticing that Megan is cold, he offers her his sweater. Megan, in turn, gives him a tie she had stolen from the store. Oster kisses her, wanting to know her better, and takes her to a hotel room. After warming her up, Oster suggests they spend some time together. 
While he showers, Megan flips through the book he always carries, only to find that it contains no text. The passage he once quoted was actually a verse by Rilke. After his shower, Oster offers to take Megan back, but she refuses. She questions him about his book, and he tells her a story about an old man falling in love with a young girl and feeling reborn. That night, Megan sits in a cafe, attempting to write a new poem. A waitress offers her food, but Megan declines, saying she cannot pay. The waitress kindly brings her pancakes and bacon. The next morning, Megan arrives at the contest and spots Oster in the crowd. She also notices a small gift from him, a tin foil car. During the pageant, Megan reads a new poem, and both Oster and his wife realize what she is implying between the lines. After the reading, Megan tosses the napkin with her poem into the ocean and heads home. Back in her room, she calls her father. Later that night, Diana wakes Megan for a talk. Megan admits she loves her mother, but expresses her desire to live with her father. In a touching moment, Diana gives her a box of old photographs. The next morning, Megan's father picks her up in his blue car, and she fondly recalls their past trips to the village as a family.